Hey guys, um, played a game today that I thought was pretty fun and interesting and uh, really didn't know who was going to win until the very, very end. So um, it starts out with uh, me going second. Bulb has a choice between Library, Boudica, Alex. And to my surprise, he actually chooses Boudica here. And uh, I, that gives me, of course, the obvious choice of Library and Alex together. Alex is a direct counter to Boudica because it delays, because uh, it forces Boudica to only have, you know, those two rocks for a warrior. Uh, he does get Engineering Genius and Stonehenge. And then, so my turn was to elect Alex and build the mine, increase pop, grab Irving Grove. I was, um, also, I'd noticed at that point, um, printing press coming down and I'm looking at the leaders and I see Shakespeare is there. So I'm all the more excited about printing press, even though I will have to delay the philosophy slash printing press here. I don't have the, the science for printing press. Um, and I go ahead and grab monarchy for two, anticipating much science coming in. thinking about um, maybe swordsman instead I was kind of considering that a little bit but and then whether to either increase pop or build the first stage and I figured increasing pop would give me a little more flexibility next turn because it wasn't like I was gonna like finish the wonder and then get another one so Bulb at this point is halfway done with his wonder. He's he went ahead and built that warrior. And so he's stronger and he's able to use Boudica for other things. But he did have to delay. He finally got his uh, philosophy, but he did have to delay that by one turn. So at this point, being weaker, I uh, was kind of reluctant to play um, an event. And I know that's a little premature to feel that way when it's all AJA events, but um, I don't know. It seemed to me that I didn't really have a good plan for getting stronger, and I had missed that um, that first swordsman. I wasn't about to spend three on this next swordsman, and so I thought he might spend two on it and have the strength advantage. So I just wasn't really excited to commit to playing events at that point. So I, gra I grabbed Saladin and ended up building two printing presses. And that was kind of a hard decision. I did have to, um, basically I'm risking the free temple and the free warrior is already out. It's already gone through that other event, but uh, the free temple was a risk there, but I figured it was worth getting a second printing press because you know you get an extra science that way. And the chances of a free temple is pretty low, especially because I'm not playing events. And, and the event that was revealed was a free pop instead. Great setup for him. A great, um, great to get for him. Uh, code of laws for one CA. So that was the downside of my turn, is I didn't really hate pick that at all. So coming back to my turn, um, I have the extra CA from Saladin. Just gives me some extra breathing room. I considered revolting here into monarchy because the row wasn't that impressive, except it had swordsmen in it. So I went ahead and go, went for that. Went for swordsmen and started the uh, the wonder. So that was trade routes. We got um, extra food, extra resource, extra science. Bulb gets into his irrigation and grabs alchemy, which I think it's a little late for alchemy personally, but I don't know if I didn't really look at his other options that carefully. So maybe that was the best thing. So I'm looking at university and I certainly, I'm thinking about maybe grabbing iron, but that would put university in the one CA slot for him. And I can't, yeah, I guess I could have, Hmm. Looking back, there's a lot of things I could have done. Could have grabbed. Yeah, so yeah, I don't know. The only I, I really wanted to get university. I didn't want him to get it. 
it was just so perfect for me to, you know, with engineering genius in hand to have one more source of science. And then I felt like I would be pretty set all the way through age three or age two, at least, but maybe even three as well with that much science coming in. So I went ahead and spent three CA on university. And now it's already back to my turn. He took a really quick turn there. Um, so I'm thinking that there's probably a strength base event in there. I had the Legion out already. And so I'm just going over different ways to get stronger than him. This is one way. Only downside is I'd, I'm committing to more MA in the future to, uh, to actually get fully upgraded there. And I really value age two MA for drawing those tactics. So I didn't want to commit later MA. So at this point I've only committed one age two MA rather than two MA. And uh, it grabbed masonry, which I don't know if that was such a great idea, honestly. Masonry, I ended up, uh, I ended up using it for like the one, the one discount, one resources on the uh, urban buildings, but I didn't end up using it on the, for the, um, well, yeah, the other reason <laughs> for the CA. Um, so seeing that he jumped up to strongest, I went ahead and immediately disbanded my philosophy to build a third swordsman. And seeing that my food was kind of messed up and seeing that I know I had not taken irrigation, I probably should have taken irrigation instead of masonry. So seeing selected that three and seeing Napoleon in the game and there's no Gandhi, and I figured, yeah, I better take this, especially if I want to go Shakespeare. So I spent three on selective. And he spends three on something too. He goes for rifleman because he missed swordsman. He did not want to get caught out without anything but warriors. So I get into my selective breeding here and take engineering genius for, it does let you get a discount of four, but in my case, I'm only going to get three because of what I'm building. And now I'm looking at, okay, there's Shakespeare. And here I have opera for one and two printing press. I mean, it just seemed too good to pass up this opportunity. I thought, you know, I, was, I was thinking, well, maybe this is just too risky. And, but then I thought, no, this, this would be glorious if it worked. Uh, so I went ahead and went for the opera. And I can pass up this, the first organized religion I commonly do just because there's another one and there's also team sports and I'd rather spend stuff on like the stuff I need right now. Whereas organized religion is something I kind of need in like age three. Um, and look who comes out right after Shakespeare. They're kind of staring at each other. I mean, they're, they're having a stare down. They're like, okay, who's going to win? Who's he going to pick? Who are they going to pick? You or me? We're both. So Bulb goes for scientific method, even though he had alchemy. I think that was a good choice on his part, though. And I'm immediately grabbing Shakespeare and just so excited about what I could do with him. Uh, there's also urban growth right in front of me for one CA, which is like, what else do you want at Shakespeare? You want urban growth and you want opera and you want, you know, the, the, everything, everything Shakespeare wanted was in my hand or right in front of me. Uh, even masonry was a nice little bonus there. Two rocks. And so it's just a matter of like, what do I pick out of these? I um, definitely wanted urban growth, but there was also um, patriotism was another consideration because I had, uh, you know, I, I was aware that he had a pretty strong play with Napoleon and what's, you know, another urban growth, what's that going to do? It's just going to get me another opera, which is like even more commitment to the Shakespeare plan. But I went ahead and did it. I went ahead and committed. Um, then he reveals Reign of Terror, which I do suffer from, unfortunately. So 
So he grabs Napoleon, of course, but uh, did not elect him. Now, I just revealed barbarians, and I just barely missed that. Um, I was actually weaker, but I, was, I didn't have more points because uh, Genghis has been racking up those three points. I did spend two on strategy, and the patriotism just came to me anyway, so I went ahead and took that. At this point, I feel like my strategy is pretty set. I'm just going to do the Shakespeare thing with another opera. I finished the, um, the library, though. Or not the library, the university, instead of building an opera because I wanted more flexibility the next turn. Instead of having to definitely spend two CA on finishing that. So he grabs cannon for two and gets into happiness. So I've, I've played, I didn't play a whole lot of events, you can see, but I did play National Pride. Figured that was a pretty solid seven points for me. And, uh, and I think it was worth suffering a little bit more from his events. Um, grab, go ahead and grab Organized Religion, the second one. <clears throat> and, then, and then I had this decision, do I grab Cavalry or Reserves? And I was looking at the tactics in my hand. Now, I have uh, Mobile Artillery and Fortifications. And all I have to do really is wait till Cannon comes out. He already has the first Cannon. He can't hate pick that for me. So, um, but I... But I grabbed cavalry because I thought, well, you know, what if I get a later tactic, like a better tactic in H3? And then I do want something like tanks or cavalry. Better to be prepared, right? But in hindsight, I don't think that was worth it. Because here's, here's the great thing about fortifications against Napoleon is Napoleon can't really make great use of that. Napoleon wants a variety of things. Mobile artillery is just kind of playing more into his hands. And if you're if you know if i didn't commit to fortifications early on then that meant i was going to be weaker uh, whereas you know and try, maybe trying to wait for a better tactic so i ended up going with the cannons taking cannons building a cannon this turn was all about how do i get out of corruption and get these yellows I'm interested for sure in Richland. Efficient upgrade, I figured I was still kind of like had my uh, head in the sky thinking maybe I'll get multimedia. Um, so I wanted both of those things. I wanted Richland and efficient upgrade and I wanted to use wave of nationalism and patriotism, put them to use conserving resources for maybe other things. But I ended up not using those and just grabbing the two yellows and spending actual resources on the cannon. This is the one of the few times that I did get stronger than him. It's kind of a frustrating thing as Napoleon to have Shakespeare be stronger than you, but that was the case here. But he had rebellion in there, not a strength-based event. I ended up losing two CA for that. As you can see, his economy is cruising he's got um 17 science and constitutional monarchies right in front of him which is a enormously helpful uh tech to have for him he goes from 3 ma to 5 ma at which point napoleon is deadly so he does get that does get that going and at that point oh and he also grabbed engineering genius right there and so with my three CA, I can't hate pick Manhattan Project. Uh, I just have to um, deal with this, really. I just have to deal with the fact that he's about to go 13 more military. And so at this point, it is 100% focused on, uh, on military. So I already have an efficient upgrade. I'm looking at the efficient upgrade in front of me thinking, okay, I have one efficient upgrade for organized religion. I could get a second one for maybe multimedia. And I think that was 
another mistake. I think cavalry was a mistake. And I think this second efficient upgrade is going to be a mistake here. Um, but I went with it. I And that was kind of based on my just kind of intuitive reaction of not having a lot of rocks coming in that, you know, here's, here has four rocks for one CA, but I, I don't really put it to good use. So now it's Napoleon's turn. There's no, there's no air force, fortunately for me. I'm not sure how ready he is for that. I think I click back to his screen in a second here. There it is. Yeah, he was totally ready for Air Force. Didn't really have a tactic going, though. I'm not sure what he was looking at as far as tactics, but he didn't seem to have a solid direction. Uh, he hadn't really started, except for he did start now. He starts by building one cannon, which I think is a pretty safe thing to do if you don't have a tactic in H3 and you're you're you know hoping to draw one. A lot of the good, good tactics do use at least one cannon. So I get into my fortifications and end up being stronger once again than Napoleon. I'm definitely interested in Marlene at this point. She she is in the game. I think I just checked right there to see, to just make sure she was there. And um, grab satellites, because I'm thinking do everything I can for strength. So I grabbed satellites for the three strength that it offers. Definitely not interested in modern infantry. Just for the same reason that he's just going to be able to take advantage of it. Um, and then I also realize I'm not going to get modern infantry. So modern army is out. So he's looking, looks, he's looking like he's going to finish his wonder. This is one of his longer turns. Looking at the score there, it looks like I've got a pretty solid lead. Um, the only way I can lose this at this point is through war. So it's all about keeping my head afloat. And there's the war, hybrid war. He finishes his uh, his wonder. And that was all he did for military. Um, I'm pretty prepared for this. Organized religion is going to get me out of the happiness crisis. Played an event, and I think this um, that event helped me a lot because he had played that territory, and now he had to commit um people to this territory if you wanted to take it away from me i don't have any boats so that's my bid i'm not going to bid any more than one person he's really thinking about it though he's he's going it over you know thinking well what can i do with this and i'm gonna lose points but is that worth it because yeah he ends up just sending the one rifleman drops by five strength which is three for the rifle and two for napoleon i believe so here I am trying to do what I can to get out of this. Um, I don't have quite enough for a second cannon, unfortunately. I'm one short. So I do what I can. At this point, I'm losing three rocks to him. So I'm thinking, well, I could uh, you know, disband this and be even. But then I don't have any. I have two rocks coming in, which is pretty pathetic. I mean, that was my bottleneck, was rocks. So I didn't go that way. Instead, I ended up disbanding a swordsman and building a cannon, uh, partly just because, I mean, that is two points right there, but it also gets me more prepared for the actual tactic that I'm on. And then I grabbed uh, Air Force. I figured that was a good hate pick at this point because he was so ready for it. Um, I had to... I had to leave reserves on the table, unfortunately. But that was kind of a hard decision, um, kind of, because reserves was there and uh, you know I had other things I wanted to do. Spending three on uh, 
Air Force when you're at 5 CA is not fun, but I think it was the right move. He goes for fundamentalism, so he's super strong at this point. 50 to 24. And I'm like praying for Marlene to come out. Impact of progress. He wins another one. It's quite annoying. It's nice when you can draw all the boats, right? So reserves was an obvious choice, seeing where I was with resources. And it's all about building more cannons. Uh, eventually, maybe Air Force too. But um, I think, so this is where I also think it made a mistake, whereas I went ahead and built, got into uh, rockets. Problem with that was it left me unable to build Air Force the next turn. My reasoning there was let's get rockets and get super strong and get as strong as possible with the footprint I have. But no, that was that was not the right move, I don't believe. Marlene, Marlene has finally come out. But... This is his last turn to declare war, and look what's not here. Air Force. Air Force is one of those three cards that's still in the deck. So taking that first Air Force ended up being really, really important. So there's the war anyways. And he gets uh, a second army. 75 to 28. So I have Impact of Harmony, which looks really really promising. I'm just going to skip politics for now to see what this looks like. Of course, I can't play Air Force because I didn't plan it very well. But I do know that Wealthy Territory is coming out, and if I can win that, then I can do quite a bit more with what I have here. And I do win that. I finally win something. He wasn't ready to commit too much, I guess. I'm surprised he bid at all. It's quite a quite a commitment. Or did he have a a rifle? Maybe he had a rifleman to bid. Yeah, I think that might have been what his three was, was the rifleman. <clears throat> so I just pour pour everything I can into the rockets. Uh, Marlene graciously gives me five extra strength because I have the uh, the fifth rocket. And that's the best I could do with um, without Air Force. So lost 26 points to him, and here comes another seven. Um, so that was 33, so that's a swing of 66 points right there. So that definitely even things up, but um, you saw me play Impact of Culture, Harmony, and then the variety, which is variety wasn't that important, but I think it was three or two, three to five points for me. Uh, I noticed he got into mechanized ag right there. It's about all I really. It's about all he really did there besides steal seven points from me. Uh, there goes impact of balance. So I'm thinking about like, okay, what are the different? You know, I got variety in there, so I probably shouldn't disband the swordsman just to build a. Uh, philosophy that doesn't do anything really so what can i do with the six resources i have knowing harmony is in there so i don't want to just disband a bronze and throw it on something um the uh, let's see opera would have cost seven so i didn't have enough for opera um, i could have gone for impact of happiness but he's only played one um one thing and he, watching him go for agriculture i just decided okay i'll move this guy over to select breeding so here we go uh progress comes out which he did pretty well and actually harmony i got eight and then variety i got two and then culture i got 10 and that's it so despite losing uh 33 points to wars and aggressions still came out on top with shakespeare and marlene thanks for watching guys